Awesome's Fanatic, and this is part six of Generations. So, um, here we are, and um, they're, they actually just woke up. Yeah, they just woke up. Um, I noticed a bunch of you are, like, really, really excited for, um, for them to be... Uh, getting married and having kids, and I know I've been uh, waiting for a while for, um, turn that on. I've been waiting for a while to actually do that, like, be, but it's not really been a while if you actually think about it. I mean, we're only in part six, and that's because I wanted them to get married and, um, have a pretty nice wedding with friends and family. Because they didn't have any friends before, but I actually went and made them meet some new people. Um, yeah, Kyle, Kyle, did I make Kyle? Yeah, Kyle Morris and, um, Amber Morris, and I made another family too that I need to go ahead and get them to meet and be friends with. Um, so that they can go to the wedding, and I'm definitely going to be trying my best to get them married in this part. Um, well, it may not be in this part because they actually have work. You know, they both have to go to work. So, <laughs> kind of sucks that they have work, but you know. Well, actually, I may just make them both call and uh, take off today. Um, the, where's work at? Service, no. Call in, take unpaid time off, two days, and she's going to call, take unpaid, untime, unpaid time off for two days. And they are going to get married. Um, so, yeah, you guys should be really, really excited for this part. Because um, it's here and it's happening. You know what I'm saying? They both got re... re, re they both... They both got um, accepted for time off. Um, Eat some mac and cheese for breakfast, I guess. That sounds really gross, but, um, yeah, the, that needs to be eaten. Um, I really don't know where I put this other family. Um, I wanted them to have friends, and I figured to make a few households would be perfect. I don't think, there's the Morris family. I don't think their last name is Clark, but it could be, for all I know, you know? I mean, we don't know the family yet, so I think it's this family, Velasco, Velasco, I don't know, I might be wrong, there's no family in that home, Svard, I don't, I can't even say that last name, no offense if any of you have that last name. I'm terribly sorry. I'm just trying to find the household that I made and put down. Olsen. I think it's the Vlasquet quest. It may not be. I really don't know. She's going to go and meet some people, though. I get that. The Oss family. Um... I may not ever find them. The red fam red family? <laughs> oh my goodness. Still six 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 till si till still sick, you guys. Um, it's getting better, but you know, I still have this really annoying cough that just will not go away. 
it's really not a very pretty day to be having a wedding, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So we're going to have, um, him come and, well, he's just going to have a quick meal of cereal. I feel bad making them both eat that. She's going to try and see if this is them, and if it is, then they can invite them to the party. The wedding will be about five, and we're going to set it up really nicely. I just really would like for these people to come. Um, I'm not sure if this is them. And there's nobody home right now. Great. I should have had them become friends as soon as I'd done it, but I really, really, really forgot. Like, I didn't forget, but... Oh, this is them. The Teal family. I remember now. Their last name's Teal. Um, please be home, Teal family. Um, they're really, really... I really like them. And I really like the other family that I created, um, the Morris family. So we're definitely going to try to become really good friends with this, both of these households and uh, invite them to um, our wedding. Hello. Yep, and this is Cor Cordell. His name's Cord yep, Cordell. Um, and his wife's name is Sonia, if I can find her. Sonia isn't here. I really was hoping that Sonia would be here. Um, we'll probably just have to... Oh, she is here. Oh, friendly introduce her. Um, friendly introduction to, um, Sonia. Sonia is really, really pretty to me. I feel like... I did, I feel like I did really well with her. Um, she has like purple hair too at the same time. She's really, really cute. So it's Sonia and, um, Cordell. We're going to invite them to the wedding. Right now they're really not familiar with them, but, you know, we're still going to invite them. And it's still sort of raining. It'll be a rainy day for our wedding. Um, that is like so ironic and terrible. We're going to go ahead and, I really don't know where to throw the party at. Throw a party at, we'll probably find a nice park. Um, I don't even know. Probably here, but we'll look at it first, just to make sure it's something really pretty and something we would like to do. Um, you know. Ooh, it is pretty. Um, they could have it like right under there because it's raining and stuff. I really do like it here. It's it's, it's pretty, but it's not, like, outdone too fancy, you know? So, yeah, we're going to have it here. Throw a party. It's going to be raining, though, so sort of, sort of sucks. And it's going to be here. And exclusive access for ex excess for a fee. Only your guests will be allowed at the venue. Okie dokie. And um, it's going to be a wedding party, and it's going to start at 5 p.m. and it's going to be formal attire. We are going to definitely invite those because they are like our best friends. Um, we don't really know that many more people. We know her and um, we know him. We're going to invite them to uh, we'll invite her and 
We'll invite her. That's going to be it. Your wedding will start at 5. You should do some early preparations for the wedding, such as purchasing and placing a wedding arch, will appropriately arranged seating for the big event, maybe a buffet, buffet, buffet table, too. So, okay. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Coughing is seriously not going to be, you know, I don't need to be coughing. Um... We're going to have to put all that stuff down real quick and uh, make this park uh, be what it is, or be what it can be. Oh my goodness. You guys, I really don't even know. What? No. I think I have to do testing cheats to do that, I guess. I mean, I'll do it, but, you know. To, like, build and buy on this, I think. Um, so, here we go. Testing, cheap, enabled, true. Okay, and we're going to build on this lot. Or buy on this lot, whatever. And um, I'm going to skip until I'm completely done doing this, and I will see all of you when I get done. Alright you guys, so um, I messed with it a little bit, and um, I think it's really pretty for the most part. We're going to go ahead and uh, put away all this stuff, and um, pretty much get ready for the party. So, yeah. Our little Lorian and Holland will be getting married soon. And that's very, very exciting. Uh, clean. Feed. And yeah. Um, move clothes to the dryer. It's definitely getting time to almost have the party. So, that's very exciting. Um, Lorian's party is soon. Um, yeah. We definitely need to get going to the party. Um, so we will. Let's see. Visit park with Holland. And I'll show you guys a little bit of what i done. Um, there wasn't really much I could do, and, um, it looks like it stopped raining, so, you know. i done the arch here. Put these really pretty flowers, uh, these seats that the Sims will probably never use, and these two buffet tables with uh, this, and um, yeah, it's really pretty. Oh my goodness, wait. There's one thing I forgot to do. Put a table for the cake. We have the cake, it's in her inventory, but I did not think to put a table. How crazy am I? How cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry guys. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I have no idea where I got that from. I mean, I know where I got it from, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know I said it. <laughs> We're just going to put this um, right there. It was really, really cute, and it'll look great with the cake. Um, if they could get here soon, they could get dressed and uh, be here before everyone else. And they get this cute little thing that says wedding day. It says, Sims love to celebrate this incredibly important day with a party. Just make sure everything goes as goes to plan. So, yeah, we definitely are. Uh, we're going to come out here. <laughs> um, the first guests have arrived. Oh, my goodness. I really hope that their outfits are perfect because I really didn't even try. Formal wear, okay. Uh, come here and change into your formal wear. Please tell me your formal wear is like something white and really pretty that I'm pretty sure I gave her that I thought looked really good. 
I have a wedding veil, but I'm going to probably save it for one of their kids when they get married, because it's going to happen a lot too. I'm just going to have to see. Alright, change into your outfit. Change. Oh my goodness. That is so not it. Okay, hold on you guys. I am going to, um... I really don't want to edit her and create a sim, but I really don't want her to get married in that. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess it's pretty, but I really had, like, the perfect, perfect wedding dress. But, um, I could always use it for, um, he looks great. I could always, always use it for one of the other daughters, because they're going to be plenty. So, I'll probably do that. <laughs> So we're going to come over here and we're going to get married. And we're going to put our cake right there. So pretty. And so yeah. Oh, they're getting married now. Oh. I'm very sorry about her outfit, you guys. It was supposed to be perfect, but you know. Okay, Holland is crazy. Uh, Alright, Sonia, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Uh, Alright, you guys. Uh, Alright, they're doing it. Yay! Yay! Uh, Aww. How sweet. Holland's like cheese and he's like, yeah, I cut it. Yeah. It was all me. Aww. And look, there's Amber Morris. Ah. She looks really pretty. Um she's really really nice too. So they're gonna all just eat up the cake a little bit. And they're actually like really, really tired. Which I know you guys are dying for her to get pregnant, so we are definitely going to try in this part. Have a great date. Um, they are so tired. They're like, come on, sleepy. Goodness, all the cake's gone. That was fast. <laughs> um, Lorian, you just ate a piece. <laughs> We're actually going to, um... Probably go home. Like, I would say thank you to everybody, but we're just gonna... You know, because they're tired and... Wanna, like leave you know how like at weddings they usually get in the car and they're gone and the wedding says get their car says get just got married or whatever or just got hitched technically you can say that's what their car did <laughs> so they are now married we're actually going to um nope you're going to come relax and you're going to come relax, and you're both going to try for a baby, because everyone wants you to try for a baby. Then you can sleep, 
And, <laughs> oh my goodness. The noise probably isn't going to go off, you guys, just to let you know. Um, because, like, the little baby jingle, so we're probably not going to know right away um, if she's pregnant because I had to turn my music completely down. And until I turn it back up, we won't hear anything like that. Um, <laughs> see, so we won't really know if she's pregnant. Which kind of sucks. I wish we could hear it, but um, we'll definitely know by morning because she'll be getting sick feeling and all that. So most likely she is, and I'm going to definitely turn up my volume um, thing to fix it. Don't worry, you guys. But I'm going to skip until one of them wakes up because they're dreadfully tired. So I'll see you when they're awake. Alright you guys, so it is morning and Lorianne is the first one awake and like I told you guys, she would be feeling nauseous and she is, which means she is expecting a little baby. So that is so exciting, we're going to have our first kid and um, I'm, I really hope you guys are ready for this, you know, I'm really excited about it. Um, if she has a boy, I want some names, and um, if she has a girl, I want some names. So if you guys don't mind, please leave some suggestions down below so that I can, you know, kind of prepare and uh, <clears throat> pick a name. Because, yeah, I really like some of your inputs and what you like and all that. You already know that, so, you know. Just kind of let me know what you guys want to hear. Um, I can't believe she's, you know, she's she's pregnant, all right? Can't believe it. And they're married, so it's so sweet. Um, and it's Leisure Day, by the way. So that's pretty neat. Like, they're married on Leisure Day. Um... Oh my goodness, no! Lady hasn't been getting enough attention. We always play with her. Um. <clears throat> we are going to feed her a treat and uh, care for her, brush her. Um. We've always played with her. It's just she got really lonely. It's the only problem about having one pet. They get so lonely because they don't have any friends. Or anything to play with, but we are not getting the lady taken. Uh, that just can't happen. So yeah, we're gonna play with her. Clean until pristine. And, uh, she's gonna eat real quick. He's gonna, oh, he's already done. He's going to play with the lady if he doesn't pee on himself. And I think he did. Did he? No? He did just then. Oh my goodness. I was just trying to keep our dog from getting taken from us. Never want that to happen. So it's very exciting that Lorian is going to have a little baby. Oh, now I see what happened. Our seat broke, like always. Um, Holland's going to have to come and fix that. <laughs> he really, really is. He's going to have to get his butt and fix it. But, you guys, this part has been wonderful. As we all know, Lorianne is expecting, and they've gotten married. But I'm going to end this lovely part here, and, um, so yeah. But, just remember to put some names down below to give me some suggestions of what, you know, what you like and what you think's cute. And, um, I'll go over everything and see. 
But um, until then, I will, you know, see all of you later. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, so bye everyone.